Good evening. In this video, we will solve quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Our quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus negative the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So our first example here is 2x squared is equal to 3 minus 5x. This is the given quadratic equation. Now, what is the first step in solving this quadratic equation? Step 1 is you need to write first this quadratic equation in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The standard form of this equation is equivalent to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, since you already transformed this equation in standard form, you need to find the value of a, b, and c. And from this equation, the value of a is equal to 2, the value of b is equal to 5, and the value of c is equal to negative 3. After finding out the value of a, b, and c, you are ready to, to use the quadratic formula, which is again, x is equal to negative b plus negative the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Step 3 is you need to substitute the numbers which are a, b, and c in this formula. So we have here x is equal to negative from the formula and the value of b is 5 plus negative the square root of. Since our b is equal to 5, this will become 5 squared minus 4 times the value of a which is 2 times the value of c, which is negative 3, all over 2 times the value of a, which is 2. And simplifying this equation, x is equal to negative 5 plus negative the square root of 5 squared is equal to 25. Then we need to simplify this, negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 3 which is negative, I'm sorry, this is positive 24, all over 4. And the inner part of this radical is equivalent to 49, all over 4. So the next step is like this, negative 5, and the square root of 49 is equal to 7 all over 4. Now, from this part, we need to solve for the possible values of x. So we need to assign x sub 1 as the first value of x. Since x is equal to negative 5 plus negative 7, all over 4, the x sub 1 should be negative 5, now let's use the positive 7 first, plus 7 all over 4, and x sub 1 is equivalent to negative 5 plus 7 is equal to 2 all over 4, and simplifying x sub 1, this is 1 half, this is the first value of x. Now for the second value of x such as x sub 2 from negative 5 let us use the next value of 7 which is negative minus 7 all over 4 and simplifying this fraction this is negative 12 all over 4 then x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 the first value of x is equal to negative 1 ah, sorry like 1 half The second value of x is negative 3. 